So today is gonna be a uh, pretty expensive day. We're actually gonna run up to Home Depot. Home Depot is like, I don't know, like 45, 50 minutes away from where we're currently staying. And we've got a Lowe's that's like 20 minutes away. I'm just not a huge fan of Lowe's as I am Home Depot. And Home Depot typically has more of what I need. Like, so we're gonna go to Home Depot and buy a bunch of stuff. We're gonna buy a lot of the stuff for the bathroom. So we're gonna get like the bigger board, backer board, backer board. I think it's backer board. The waterproof mat. So we'll be able to like start working on the actual bathroom and closing it off. Then we're gonna get more of this Luna birch plywood and finish off this side. And we're also gonna get some wood for the cabinets. Cause everything we're doing in this bus is gonna be custom. We're not having anything that's like bought that we can just sit in here, unfortunately. So, I mean, it's kind of, it's bittersweet, like everything in this bus is gonna be custom and I'm gonna make it, it's gonna be designed for our lives. It just includes a lot more work, but it's gonna be exciting. So so that's what we're doing today. It's gonna be a big trip, it's gonna be expensive. It's gonna get a lot of what we need. I mean, shoot, once this wall's done and then we start building the cabinets, bathrooms closed off, like that's some serious progress. So then we have to like start painting some things. I'm gonna start running the water soon. I think one of the trickier parts about this whole build is like figuring out the order in which you need to do something. Not like jumping the gun and just doing something to do it, but doing it systematically so that it all kind of like makes sense and you're not taking something off, you're not having to redo something. So yeah, right now I need to measure what exactly I need, how much of it I need, because it's a lot. So I need five sheets of the eighth inch Luna birch wood that we've used for the sides and the ceiling. I need six two by twos. I need four two by fours. I need five sheets of plywood for the cabinets. I'm thinking I'll do, I think I'll do half inch, but three quarter inch is just so heavy that I think it's overkill for what we're doing for the. I need, I need the waterproof membrane. I need flex bond mortar for the base of the shower bed. Cause we do like, we're doing special dimensions for our shower. Couldn't get a prefabbed. It's just cheaper to get like to build my own shower pan as opposed to like getting a prefab one. So I'm building one out of mortar. Uh, I got two cans of primer for the outside of the bus and then 25 feet of half inch PEX. 25 hot, 25 cold. And I think that'll be enough, but I don't know. All right, let's get some stuff. I washed it yesterday. Story of my freaking life. I got a new car seat. This one's not as easy to get in and out as the old one. It just gets so big. So we're back. It was a good trip. I didn't really film anything because, I don't know, just super busy. So this is just plywood, but it's like super sanded, super smooth. It kind of looks like birch. So I got this, it was 35 bucks a sheet. I got half inch or it's like, it's like 15, 32s. I got three of these. These are gonna be like what the cabinets are made out of. I got more of this birch Luna wood. This is what the walls are gonna be made out of. I uh, just kind of tie in with the rest of the theme of all the other birch that we've used. That way we're not using like different types of plywood and when you paint it or stain it, it looks differently. Two by twos, cause I gotta finish bracing the like driver's side of the bus. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Splinter. It's all right. super pumped about our next bus build like the one that we're gonna do after this one because this one's probably not gonna work out the way we need it to you know like just the whole learning experience but I'm super pumped about the next one just because like I'm learning so much about this stuff and this should be a lot easier next time like I did this side first and this is the side that everybody's going to see and then I just did this side that nobody's gonna see because like our cabinets and the couches are right there but that side looks so much better than this side so like yeah and I think it's just because the fact of me like learning how to do it on that one. So note to self, I should do this stuff that's not going to be seen as often first and then I should do the other stuff. But I mean like, I'm still happy with how this came out. 
we're gonna end up painting it. Next up is we deleted this window, so I guess I'll cut a piece for that, just to kind of like finish it off. I'm at the point that like, I guess I can start kind of like finishing some things and not have to, yeah, like I can start putting up certain boards and stuff. Like maybe I'll put up that board and then I'll board this off because we can do that. I need to freaking, I need to fix this. Hmm. I need to like put this somewhere because it keeps hanging here and it doesn't look good. But that's here nor there. So yeah, put that piece on the blank window that we deleted, kind of like this one. And then I'll do, maybe I'll cut the piece for this. We'll see. Well, it's uh, it's kind of in. I've gone through more drill bits on this bus than I ever thought I would on any other project I've ever, I've ever done. Yeah, so I just snapped two drill bits, which is crazy because it's the same ones I, were I was using. And I guess this one's a lot more stiff, so I guess I can't fully put this up. Bummer. I think that turned out pretty well for being the first one, but all right. So like this whole video is all over the place. This whole bus build all over the place. So I apologize, but it's just kind of how life is happening right now. It seems like a lot of people are just kind of all over the place. So that being said, now some things have changed with the whole layout space, how everything's kind of falling in. So that means, so I'm sorry the audio is a little wonky. I've got a uh, 20 month old, one and a half year old, and he likes everything that I like, and that starts with this camera. So he adjusted the audio. So now it should be a little better. But what I was getting at is this couch, I've got nine tape measures, I always lose them. So this couch is like the length of a full size bed, 68 inches and a quarter. We're changing it up. This is now going to be 54 inches. We're gonna make it so people lay this way, but we've gotta extend it because like your feet hang off. And I'm I'm not a super tall dude, solid five, seven, five, eight. And my feet hang off like a foot and that's not comfortable. So, so that means that I've gotta shorten this by 14 inches. And it's cool because that means it's gonna make our kitchen even bigger. That's like adding another stove. So we actually keep the stuff that we have instead of buying a stove and putting a drawer stove. Hmm. And I had the great idea of making this thing out of metal and wood, so now I cannot just cut it. I've gotta cut it, grind it, weld it, and then do the same with wood. That's what we're gonna do right now. parts about this whole YouTube thing that people kind of like overlook is I work in silence 95% of the time because I like the sounds of the things that I'm doing and I like to record the audio and if I play music that has like copyright stuff on it then I couldn't one monetize videos which I mean isn't a huge deal because like I really enjoy that 20 cents but the other part is I could get like sued for not being like not licensing the music. Yeah, I just don't want to get sued. So I work in silence. So it's like the nighttime now because I just ran some errands and got some, uh, just a lot of plumbing stuff and a couple of tools. So this is now painted white. Before it was just metal because I forgot to paint it, but now I didn't forget to paint it, so it's painted white. I think it looks pretty good. It's all welded, it's all mended. I just need to cut the backboard and then cut the slats and stuff to make sure that those fit properly. That's what we're gonna do now. They need to be equal. I want them all to be the same size. So I just have two. Hmm. All right, I need to do some thinking. So I really like the idea of the three slide outs that we had, but now that we shortened it, so let's back up a little bit. We. Uh, we tried building this bus to accommodate us as much as possible, but also accommodate the guests that we decided to have on this bus, like friends and family, and 
it's got to a point that, you know what, like, the reality of people actually coming out that often is very slim to none. I mean, I'm sure it'll happen here and there, but we don't need to build our bus around that. We need to build the bus around us and our little family. So that's why we decided to make this shorter because one, we wanted more kitchen space. Two, we're not very tall people. So if we want to like lay out and lounge, then we can still do that on this short of a, a couch. And then three, we came up with a solution to still have like a pull out bed, utilizing kind of how we want it to work. So I don't know if the three slides is necessary or if it'll still work the way I want it to. Cause I got one and then two, I got 10 slots here. So I've got 10 slots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That will like come out. If I just put three, that's not a very secure little section. So I could do four, but then I don't have an even amount. So what I need to do is five. And then I have one, two, three, four, five on one slide. And then one, two, three, four, five on another slide. And that will proportionally distribute the weight better for like lounging and sleeping and all of those things. So I think that's gonna be the route that we uh, decide to go. That's what I'm gonna do right now. Oh, I'm tired. I started early, it's late, I'm getting tired, but it's all part of the grind. What am I gonna do with this now? like here we're not supposed to lay that way anymore we're supposed to lay this way so then we'll lay like this and I think that'll work there's that we just gained like 14 inches to our uh, kitchen that's a lot that's a lot a lot all right anyways thanks for watching I'm sorry this video was like all over the place it's been a uh, very all over the place kind of a couple weeks for me I want to get back to kind of the original idea with this whole video stuff is like work on the bus film it and then edit a video and post it work on the bus film it edit it post it so like a consecutive like follow me throughout the build not just like a bunch of how to's because I don't uh, I've never done this before so I don't want to like show you how to do it or teach you how to do it because I'm not like a professional and I feel like that's like pointless like unless I was a professional I don't think I should be able to tell you how to do something, but I'm gonna show you how I do stuff, which is what YouTube is. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, that's how I did this. So that's what I'm gonna do. And so that's how I built this bed the second time. If you have any questions, shoot me a message. I really appreciate you guys watching. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you don't like it. And if you could subscribe, we'd really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with this. This is kind of cool. Ready? Hey. Are you ready to go to the stores? You ready to go to the stores? Do some. Whoa, what's up with that face? You smile. Cheese. Cheese. Fist pump. Fist pump. Give me some. Give me some, dude. Alright, let's go.